All the roads lead to Aktabraskaya. The dark one is there. Anna is there now too. In the hands of my enemies. The hands of the traitor. Lesnitsky. So, who is this girl again? A hostage. We'll use her for negotiating with the Order. Just make sure she wears a gas mask. If she's infected, she's dead and of no use to us. So, what do we do with her? Log her up and keep an eye on her. Anything happens, it's your head. I'll come get her when we're done. of the red light to stop the epidemic. Have you ever... Fire! Can't you hear anything? Who's there? Shit! Hold up! Shit! I'm here! Hey! You! Closer! I'm... done for... So... So listen... The Reds... They knew of the infection! They came on the second day! No one had died yet... But they came... With the flamers! How else could they have known? Go! 
tell everyone. Tell it. It was the Reds.
What do we have here?
Comrade Lesnitsky, the operation is progressing as planned. It will be completed within an hour. Well, the experiment has been successful. We need to report that to General Corbett. Will you go? Yes, sir. What's with the bro? This needs to be brought Says she's a hostage for negotiations with the Order. Although we all know what sort of negotiations they're having. <laughs>
Through there! Now jump. Stand still. Or I sleep her drop. So, you can... Why? Why did you do that? <coughs> Hurry! <coughs> we have to get caught, Savaya! <coughs> There's Hansa. <coughs> and our men. <coughs> Suffocating would be <coughs> a real shame after <coughs> surviving all that. <sighs> Pieces of the puzzle are falling together, and the big picture is horrifying and unbelievable. I will tell the others about this, but I still can't make myself believe it. The Reds have infected Oktyabraskaya, a peaceful station denizens of which never suspected anything, with an unknown deadly virus. And then their mop-up squads entered it under the pretense of saving the station from the epidemic and eliminated everyone they could. Women, children, old people. To prevent the infection from spreading. And if all this is true, then me and Anna could be infected too. We've been saved from being killed, but we don't know if we're going to survive for long. I have a feeling that everything will end soon. We won't survive this war, Artyom. No one will. I feel alone again. Like when I was a girl and father was away on a mission. Nothing around me. Empty and cold. As if I were just a spark from the fire flying away and then gone. It's hard for me to tell you these things, Artyom. But I want to feel that I'm... alive. Touch me. Well, hmm, there seems to be nothing wrong with you. Congratulations, youngsters. You, Archeum, may go. While you, Anna, you have to stay some more. We need to finish treating your wound. <sighs> Thank God. Well, what are you waiting for? Go! Go, Artyom. I'll find you as soon as they finish patching me up. Come here, darling. Go, Artyom. I have no down. medical necessity to keep you here. And I have a lot of work to do. Not really, Artyom. It's you should all go. right. I Just won't stay don't look. When are we going to go home? Who's that? Do you see the face? As if... Looks like... Eight bucks. <laughs> yes, it's eight. Simetsky, Yuri. He used to say he'd outlive us all. <laughs> well... All bets are off now. They're going to cut <coughs> away soon, too. Let me go! I'm healthy, and they keep coughing on me! Hey, 
stand here. It's dangerous. Ask the doctor, please. Where's the justice here? They are killers, not doctors. So? What do I do now? Hey. What do I do? Help. Help. Well, you know the prospect as well as I. I know. I know, but still. You were instructed on the safety precautions. On the gloves, on the mask. You signed the papers. <coughs> yes, I, I did. Be on your but way. The kids, how was I supposed to talk to them with a the mask on? So, I don't have to remind you about the gloves and the mask. Yes, I know that. Perfect. Now. You take the temperature every hour, blood sample, every three hours. Call me at once, should any parameters deviate from the pattern. Well, what's there to do? They got off easy, but we got to pack all that. Yeah, yeah, what's the point, huh? Should just burn it with the corpses and be done with it. They say it's to find the source of infection. Bullshit, if you ask me. No way to do that now. Ask the doctor, please. So, so is the you you fly 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 fly? Fly? Yes and no. It is an Ebola virus. Trying to cultivate it is useless. It's basically not. You can't go in there. It's a high danger zone. Doctor, you know I'm no medic. Please explain. Uh, I'm sorry, Colonel. Here are the facts. In the first two days, the mortality rate was around 95%. In the third, it dropped to about 25%. Today, we only have two new infected. And they have a light infection, prospects of recovery looking promising. Now, as you understand, Moscow never was a natural habitat for this virus. And in its wild form, it remains dangerous much longer. So, what does all this mean? It is not a regular virus. It's a weapon-grade strain engineered to achieve maximum lethality within a short time, and then turn harmless. Damn this. Where did it come from? I have heard of a new generation of bioweapons based on this virus being developed before the war. But where did it surface from now? After all these years, bio weapons. My God. Just in case, I have some Rangers questions. One of them could have brought this surprise from the past to the metal. You should go. It's not safe here. I feel perfect! Ah, oh, yes, great. I'm really happy for you. 
We taught him to stop. without help, but they did provide shelter for the refugees at the hospital. Perhaps that could help them. Sorry, that's forbidden without the permit. That's our man. Let this one through. He got the permit. Damn, I can't this anymore. I think you should stock up on filters and ammo, Artyom. You probably won't have such a chance anytime soon. Hey, Ranger! Have us some ammo! Come here, Ranger! Let's haggle! Hey, some throwing there! Jeep! Come Why in! Fight anyway? Get some incendiaries! Let's go! refugees. That's what puzzles me. Where's the profit? Nobody signed any contracts with them. We didn't even promise anything. What were they thinking? Nothing. It's their job. The police rangers are doing stuff. Take like note of the funds Hanser expends on this quarantine. And they are generally quite reserved with their money. Perhaps they are aiming for an additional trump card to use in negotiations at Poland. Attention on the platform. Opening the airlock. Good luck in the tunnels, Ranger! In some other time and place, what happened could be life-changing. But there is no time but present, and no place but the metro for us. And we must do everything we can to save it. I have to hurry and catch up with the Dark One. Anna has to tell her father of what Korbut and Moskvin are doing. Anything else is a luxury we can't afford right now. We've got outgoing! Open up! Soon, the leaders of Hansa, Redline and Reich will meet in Polis hoping to reach a peaceful settlement on D6. But I know the nature of man all too well, Artyom. War is as certain as the fall of night, unless a miracle happens. Come through! Well, we won't catch the train with the Dark One moving along the tunnel. But there is another way. We're leaving the station. Here's our pass. 
All right. Are you going to Polis? No. Open the interline tunnel for me. But the interline is a dead end. And very dangerous. A dead end? No way. That's our road to Polis. Open up. Let's go, Artyom. Come on! I can't keep it open forever! As you see, Careful with the generator. it's not dead end. That's just what the Hansor authorities claim to discourage people from entering these passages. An unprepared man could easily lose his way here. Or even become lost within himself. But as long as you're with me, there is no danger. Most people believe Metro to be just tunnels and stations. A lifeless and soulless conglomerate created by human hands alone. There's a special place in the Metro. A few people who come upon it never return. I call it the River of Fate because it can change your destiny. Wash away the silt of the past and offer the chance for a different future. It's an abandoned place.
hear that? Get the <laughs> Something behind these cobwebs. Intriguing. Is that a sign? The grate is rusted. And poorly attached. Give me a hand here, Artyom. Continue burning it, Artyom. Look, water. We're almost there. Pretty close. not get lost in it. Do not rush now, and don't be surprised by anything. It is a strange place. You can pick it up. I think it's for you.
wonder of the world and imagine what you would change in your favor. Think of the Dark One. Don't be afraid. You are meant to be here, Artyom. Further! Go further! Familiar scenery? It's the tower. And down there is the city of the Dark Ones. It's the moment you watch the missiles. That's you. The river will cleanse you, forgive your sins. You can change your fate. You can do it. Choose your destiny and be free. This was their home. All that's left is ashes and dust. Look, there he is. The Dark One. After him. Faster! to lose him! Nobody. A dead end. Is this where you almost caught him? You must try again, Artyom. The Dark One is still at that freak show on the train. Almost got me this time. Oh, it's working. We're back in the desert of the river. When we got out of the river, the dark one was very close. He can't have gotten too far ahead.
but the train's got to be nearby. You must save him! And then he just might save us all! I never believed him. And that is no surprise. But Khan's words were true. This strange river took me to the past. The moment where I sent out the signal and destroyed all the Dark Ones. And then it dropped me off at the place where I can find the last survivor of that race. A helpless and harmless child. Khan called him the last angel. Thank you. 